Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the inaugural episode of Wayne Does Weird Stuff, where I'm going to do weird stuff. And yes, I'm going to build a new universe creator, because, well, hey, because I can. Um, Trade Wars 2002 is one of the classic This is the approximate shape of the standard Trade Wars universe from Trade Wars version 096 onward. I've never seen the earlier version, so I can't say for sure, but it's likely that all versions use the same basic source code. For universe creation, that is. So Big Bang basically produces something of a sphere. So what if you want a special universe shape? You can manually edit it using key edit, but that takes a lot of work. Telnet scripts for automation, but again, that takes a lot of work. So you'd have to do it all yourself. The thing is, why not automate the process? Tell the program to do it, so you don't have to manually write Telnet scripts and all that. Get the program to do the work for you. <coughs> why am I talking about this? Well, I was talking to Joe at Joe's Tavern. Trade Wars game server, but a game I wanted to run. The game required a really complex universe shape to make the players work a bit harder. I mean, let's face it, most people are playing Trade Wars and playing the game for 10 or 15 years. They know the ins and outs. You can't throw a standard game board at them and not expect them to have a conference within a week at most. I mean, no. It, these people are experienced. So, I was going to manually edit the universe, but then I got thinking, why not automate it? Okay. I'll also admit that I'm a bit lazy. So, um, this isn't really a blue sky musing, because I've already done this with the earlier version of Trade Wars, Trade Wars 2002 version 1. The Trade Wars game server is Trade Wars 2002 version 3 point something, I forget the exact which uh, point, but doesn't matter. Um, the basic theory is the same. Uh, the program isn't really the hard part. Um, what was hard is I'm not good at math, and I had to mentally work out the math to create some complex structures. Hopefully, I haven't messed up. I guess we'll find out when I actually write the code. Uh, and, you know, checking for changes to file formats that we made since version version 2 and version 3, it's not really that difficult, it's just tedious, and, well, I have just enough ADHD that I can get through tedious jobs, which is why I was thinking of editing a 20,000 sector universe by hand. Yeah, I'm crazy. That's why this is called Wayne Does Crazy Weird Stuff. So, back under Trade Wars 2002 version 1, uh, and yes, this was all handed out all 1,000 sectors, we put together this special game. Uh, we put Terra and Solport in the right-hand circle, or sphere. Then we built a long spine to where the star dock was, which was 50 sectors away from Terra. Even worse, there was another lump that was 100 sectors away from Terra. So, if you accidentally got booted from bed space, you could end up anywhere. Of course, people immediately figured that out and started getting booted from dead space on purpose to end up anywhere, but hey, that's part of the game, right? You play the rules. And that means you play the universe you end up in. So, I thought 
con concept universes that I'm probably going to program. This one especially is just so simple. Rather than doing a sphere, you do a rectangle. Flat. Basically, it's a you can run, but you can't hide map with zero bubbles, no one way warp points. Everything is accessible. Um, back under Trade Wars 2002 version 1, a uh, utility written by uh, Jason Boyd called Blue Bank produced this. Um, he released that back in February 19, uh, 15, 1992, so hey, it's only what, uh, 32 years ago? And yeah, I was programming. How about this? We're talking three spheres, two tubes, uh, something that's not a sphere, basically it's an oblate spheroid, a cone, another small sphere, a larger sphere, then a ring, and another oblate spheroid. Why? Why not? I mean, hey, the players might like it. Might absolutely hate it too. But that isn't the point. This isn't a commercial project. This is a fun project. The idea is to get out there and enjoy stuff, learn a bit, and um, you know, see what we can do. Because after all, creativity is fun. I mean, I like making new stuff. I like messing with things and seeing what blows up when you uh, change a few values. Um, you don't want to know some of those stories, believe me. <laughs> Um, yeah, anyway, um, I just recently found out that Windows had a 3D paint app, so I use 3D for the, uh, this, uh, view here. Basically, the sky is the limit for universe shape, as long as we can work with the math involved. And, uh, you know, for a mathematician, this would probably be very easy for me, this is going to be really hard. I'm rather hoping that somebody will volunteer to help out. optimistic, right? Um, and I say we, yes. This will be, this will be a totally open source project. Code will be hosted on GitHub. I'll be advertising this effort in places where Trade Wars players and game ops past and present congregate so that people who are interested can come in and have fun. Um, part of the reason I originally started a YouTube channel is I've learned some interesting things from great folks and I want to pass on some of what I know. I mean, help inspire the next generation if I can. Or just sit, help people have fun. Um, I've decided on using the Rust programming language. I've never used it before, so I'll be learning along with everyone else. And, just for your uh, knowledge, I've used this project on Windows before. So this will be a new operating system for me too. Yes, all my programming before was on other operating systems have never programmed anything for Windows. Think about that. This is going to be fun. Um, Rust has a bunch of technical advantages with advantages for this. I can detail them as I understand them further if anybody really cares. It doesn't matter for the project. Basically, it's got some really great stuff, including it addresses some of my weaknesses. I'm an incredibly sloppy coder. Rust has very strong air checks and stuff, so that some of my uh, worst <laughs> messes aren't likely to happen. Um, does JP know about this? Yes, I've emailed him a copy of this presentation. Um, he knew I was working on something 30 years ago, and basically, or not too, 20 years ago, sorry, I got sick, and everything for, well, around 20 years. It's only been over the last year I've actually had the energy to get back into doing things. So, yeah, um, he does know I was working on stuff in the past. He knows what I've done. So, you know, I'm hoping basically here that we can start a new, new era of innovation on Trade Wars 2002. There are things that we can do with this game. I mean, it's a great game. Um, what can we do to expand it? more challenging, bring new players in. Now, I don't know Telnet, but there are a number of TPL Telnet projects that could be turned into a real Trade Wars 2002 graphical interface if someone was willing to try and had the time. And, I mean, there's a lot of talented people in the community. I'm not thinking that I'm going to take a run at it because I have a couple of other things that I want to try, which, um, well, quite frankly, I think would be way more 
four foot beam. Uh, but you know, hey. and then we've got a whole bunch of different trade war scalpers, uh, none of which interact very well. And maybe someone could come up with a way of linking them into a single coherent whole. Well, I don't know. But if you have your own skeleton. Basically, uh, the sky's the limit, or at least it was until Sputnik. Why do I do this? Hey, because I can. That's the most important reason. I like doing things, because it'll be fun. It's the reason I like doing things. I like fun. Uh, because I'm hoping a lot of other people are going to have fun, too. I mean, hey, if other people are interested and learn something and get something out of this, that's great. That's the whole idea for this. Not a commercial project. It's not meant to be a huge commercial or even just a huge success in the trade wars community. If a couple of people end up using it and liking it, that's good enough. Just as long as we have fun putting it together. And the final reason is because I'm certifiably crazy. As the folks I went to school with back to grade one, or ask the first po folks I went to school with all the way back to grade one, we all squared with. Let's face it, Wayne does weird shit, because he's Wayne. And, well, yeah. Anyway, this is the whole idea behind the project. I really hope that you know, a lot of people get interested, and that we can get some interesting things done. And we're going to learn some interesting stuff doing it. That's just part of the point. Anyway, folks, I hope you all have a good evening. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.